What's up everybody? It's currently 8.33. I just got up about a half hour ago or so. We're gonna go for a cheeky little morning run, come back, shower, get some breakfast, coffee, and start off the day right. And I'll also be listening to some foreign music during my run so that I can get a little bit of practice in even when I'm doing something else. And this will be a recurring theme that you see throughout the day where I do all these tiny little small things that add up to a lot of practice over the course of the day. So let's do it. All right, so now we have a strong start to the day. I just finished eating, so now as you can see, I'm a little behind on laundry. This stuff is all clean though, don't worry. I just have to hang it up. It's just been accumulating here for a little while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit two birds with one stone. I'm gonna clean this stuff up. And at the same time, I will be listening to the Easy German podcast. I don't know if you could see that so that I can get even more listening practice while I'm doing even a menial task like this around the house. So let's do it. Awesome, so we got that done. That took about a half an hour or so. I also tidied up some other stuff in my room. So total, it's not even noon yet, but we've already gotten around an hour or so of language practice. So time well spent. Now let's head on to the next thing I normally do and see how else we can be productive with our day. This is usually the time of day where I come down here and I focus solely on whatever I need to do for the day. Whether it's YouTube stuff like editing, planning, or filming, or if I have some miscellaneous translation projects that I need to work on. During this time, I'll also take my phone and just put it in another room or turn it off completely so that I can eliminate all distractions and just get to work and finish what I planned for the day. So let's go do that and I'll see you when I'm done in about 10 seconds. All right, so I just got some lunch, this cheeky little sandwich here. I'm gonna probably sit down, relax a little bit, watch some YouTube, and uh, after that, we'll get into the nitty gritty, really good stuff, the deliberate practice. And speaking of YouTube, if you haven't already, you should absolutely subscribe to this channel if you like this sort of content. I'm gonna give you like two seconds, hit the red button. Okay. All right, now it's time for the best kind of practice that you can ever get as a language learner. This is the time of day where I set apart at least one hour a day, sometimes a little more if I feel like I have more time, but one hour of no distractions, complete silence, and complete focus on what I'm doing. And to be as efficient as possible, we can't have anything distracting us, so I'm gonna take my phone, shut it off completely, and put it in another room so I won't be tempted to scroll through my phone and waste time. As for exactly what I'm going to be doing, I have here a book called Complete Finish that I got on Amazon a couple months ago. Unfortunately, I haven't gone through a lot of it yet, so I wanted to get started. I think I'm on like chapter three or four, but yeah, gonna review some finish. And I'm also going to be going on Link, my favorite website for language learning, not sponsored or anything. It's just something that I really enjoy. And then to top it all off, I am going to do a little bit of Duolingo, about one block or around five or six lessons of Indonesian because I really like using Duolingo when I don't really know much of the language at all. And the reason why I'm using so many different resources in one session is because I always like to change it up so that it never gets boring, I'm always having fun with the process, and it'll allow me to stick with it more long term. So that's it, let's get to it, and I'll talk to you guys again when I'm all done. Oh, and by the way, I completely forgot to mention that on Link, I will be studying Portuguese because I may or may not be planning a certain trip to a certain South American country. And then, of course, I am doing Indonesian on Duolingo and then Finnish in my book. But of course, if you're just focusing on one language, it's completely okay to dedicate all of this time to that language. In fact, you should absolutely do that if you want to progress really fast. But since I just love languages in general and I have no immediate need to speak any of them, I can afford to kind of divide my time between each language. With that said, let's get back to it. All 
All right, so I just finished my hour-long session of deliberate practice. Felt like I learned a lot. It was a good sesh. And now it's getting around the time where I usually go out and get something for dinner or think about cooking. But today has actually been a little bit more productive than my other days, so I found myself with a little extra time. So to fill up that time, I'm probably just gonna play a little bit of guitar. Whether you play the guitar, the piano, or really any other musical instrument, it's a great hobby to pick up. I find that it always calms me down and just allows me to de-stress. It kind of has the same effects as meditation would have in other people. I also like to sing a little bit, and these are two hobbies that I really enjoy doing outside of language learning, and I'm a huge advocate for self-development, so I at least attempt to make myself as well-rounded as possible while making the most use of my time. So maybe after I strum a few chords, I'll probably go and do some flashcards. It's another thing I really like to do when I find that I have some extra downtime. For reference, here's my, uh, this is an app called Anki. It's a great flashcard app that I would highly recommend. I have decks of thousands of flashcards for every single language. I don't know if you can see it there. I don't do every single deck every single day, but when I wanna focus on a certain language, I'll definitely do that deck. And I also have a geography deck, which I like to stay on top of. And that's definitely one that I do do every day before I go to bed. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that, add up the flashcard time with the little counter we got going up there, and I'll see you after that. All right, so I just finished eating dinner. I had some wonderful salad and a great steak, not that anyone cares. But anyway, after dinner, I usually like to wind down a little bit with some reading. Reading is another thing that I really like to do outside of language learning, besides guitar and singing and all that other stuff. And at least for me, it's really important to stay informed and up to date on all current events, global politics, and things of that nature. So every week, I'll read Time, uh, The Economist, Foreign Policy, pretty much any kind of current events periodical that I can get my hands on. So I'm gonna read this, it's short enough to where I can read the whole thing in one sitting, and then after that, we're gonna go to what I think, in my opinion, is the funnest method of learning a language. All right, cool, so we just finished reading, I'm back in my computer here, and now we're gonna go on to what I think is the funnest method of learning a language. And it's, of course, is Netflix. So again, for me, I really want to brush up upon my Portuguese, so I've been watching this seriado called 3%. It's from Brazil, it's completely in Portuguese, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. Now what I do is I make sure the series is playing, I turn on the subtitles in the language that I'm learning, I follow them throughout the end, and if I find any phrase or word that I don't know, for example, then I'll simply take the word, put it into Google Translate, and then make a flashcard out of it. So then later tonight, when I usually do my flashcards, I'll be able to remember it really easily, and that memory will hopefully carry over into the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and you get the point. And depending on the amount of time I have, I'll usually watch one, maybe two episodes. So assuming I do watch two episodes, that's two hours of added practice. That is so much fun that it doesn't even seem like work at all. And this is why finding things that you enjoy is really so important. So I'm gonna go enjoy myself while learning Portuguese at the same time, and I'll get back to you after that. All right guys, it's around 11 p.m. I'm winding down for the night. And again, as a rule, so I don't just keep scrolling through my phone and on social media for hours and can't sleep, I always put my phone away two hours before I plan to actually fall asleep. But as a habit, again, before I go to bed, I always read at least a half hour. And today I will be reading a book I actually got in Brazil last year. It's about um, a military dictatorship that Brazil lived under for 20 years. I bought that book in a bookstore in Curitiba and I actually haven't read it yet, so this will be a great opportunity to start. And it's, again, completely in Portuguese. I don't know if you can see that, but it should focus at least a little bit. I don't know, maybe. So even when I'm winding down the bed, I'm still practicing languages. And something I really want to point out as we end the day is that you'll see that my routine is actually pretty normal. I don't spend 12 hours a day sat down learning languages like some people think I do. I like to think that I live a pretty normal, balanced lifestyle, and all I really do is incorporate these language habits into my day. One last thing, in the night after I finish reading, I usually reflect on the day that I just lived. I ask myself what I did right, some things that I did wrong, how I maybe could be more productive in the future, and also my thoughts about what I learned during the day. But of course you guys don't have to copy me. You guys asked to hear about my weird routines, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I hope you got something good out of this video and maybe some ideas or inspiration about how you can incorporate your language habits into your own life or how you could maybe be a little bit more productive day to day. It's really all about the journey, and if I could leave you guys with anything, it would be this. It's really tiny changes that cause remarkable results. So I hope you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Good night, and thanks for watching.